For the occlusal shot, again, we're going to turn on the camera, touch the touch screen, and then go to mode. And this time you're going to choose the mirror. And when you hit the mirror mode, it is basically going to be set up and ready to go. Uh, notice you're going to be around 12 inches away to be able to expose a good shot. So we're going to talk about taking the occlusal shots. And the first thing before we get going is I want you to look at the setup. We're going to have a, a basically a, a mirror. And if you look at the mirrors that are really nice are the ones that have some sort of handle on it that you can grab a hold of. We also have a very specific retractor that is designed to simply pull the upper lips away uh, from where we're trying to go. So the upper lip just gets nicely retracted out of the way and the patient can easily hold this. If you're using metal retractors or smaller retractors, it's sometimes actually the patient will inadvertently pull the lips into the picture. Now, again, what we're going to be thinking about is this. When you're taking this picture, the, the key is to understand that you're going to get the mirror in place and essentially lay it against, in this case, the bottom teeth or the lower occlusal plane. Now notice Kristen has not pulled the camera up yet because she's looking to make sure she can see what she wants to see in the mirror. Once she's done that, this camera is already set up as we've showed up. It's simply a matter of getting the camera in place, seeing what you want to see, and exposing the picture. And if you do that, you're going to take really good consistent mirror shots every time. Let's take a look at the mandibular occlusal shot. So again, we're going to be using the same retractor to just slide it in and pull the lower lip away from the teeth. And notice how we let the patient do that. In this way, the assistant can work completely alone. Now she's going to take the mirror and basically place it against the upper teeth or the upper occlusal plane and really pivot against those teeth change the angle so she can see all the teeth that she wants to see with her eyes, then bring the camera up. And then pretty much since the camera is set properly, we just expose the image. If you do it this way every single time, I think you'll find that you'll get very consistent occlusal shots.